ball game. The Miami Hurricanes head of the ACC taking on the Temple Owls out of the American Conference. Approaches coming into our nightcap of this great event. Rodney Miller got deep in a hurry. He's now made nine of his last 13 field goal attempts. The floor, you cannot allow him to play in space. Miller again, he is two for two to start this one off. Baseline and a nice feed, but again, a miss from point blank range for Temple. Out for three, and it goes for Mormon from the ACC. I think he realizes he's got two shoes that are different colors. <laughs> I'm surprised it took you so long. Got to be a little more assertive. He needs to be an all-league player for Temple to, to push to the top of a very competitive American Athletic Conference. Uh, those things will get you. Glad to see him being able to come back for a homecoming. Opportunity to play in the city. A lot more strokes a triple. He's up. Two out of every three shots he shoots are from behind the arc. 36% early in this season. Likes got it right over the top of Moore and wants it back to push it. Size. Not much depth to this Miami team. They've been limited due to injuries the last couple of years. And one coming for Keith Stone. They won in Miami. It was on the George Mason Final Four staff. Great young coach. Wow, what a finish by Quentin Rose. 14 last time out to win against St. Joe's. I thought he was going to go with a hook there, and he, and he stopped it a little short, a little baby floater. He stone muscles his way in. Back. 8%, not as comfortable from range to this point. Wardenburg muscles again. Look at this guy. How was your night last night? You know what? It was horrendous. <laughs> that is awesome. Thanks for that. How, how would you spell it? With a capital T. Both a quarter three from Devondre Perry. Clock and you do not have Chris Likes in the game. High ball screen. Tufts two. Beverly got it. Those are the ones you want to give up, though, if you're Aaron McKee in the Temple Owls. That's a tough two. And have been strong defensively to start this game. A spin and a dish. Nice move and a finish inside by Jake Forrester, the Indiana transfer. Four opportunities for Temple in the half court. Did you take French growing up? Parlez-vous Francais? Vasilovic. The high volume shooter, Marcus Howard. Five foot seven, way under six feet tall, but he plays really big. Different signal for a shot clock no, violation. Boy, you are not getting a shot clock tonight. violation tonight. A ball fake and a drive and a finish. He stole. Vasilovic, when he has the ball, he made the right decision. I'm not sure I agree with the shot. Good finish from Quinton Rose. Uh, I see things a little differently over here. Rose. High ball screen, great roll by Forrester. Shows you a little bit of the versatility. I think Quentin Rose is a guy that can be a little point forward with it. Beverly with the drive. Good drive. Jake Forrester again there, giving him a presence. Great. That's where he's good. And he gets it to roll home. Eight Pierre Louis with his first field goal. He is. Switch that ball screen. Good deep. Temple is getting back in this game by getting consecutive stops. Wow. Getting out in the open floor to the NCAA tournament. Six nothing Temple run. Temple team lost in the first round of the NIT last year. Stone was all alone. Remember when he was doing that in the garden just down the road? Makes it look easy. That is not an easy shot. Trey likes the pull. Too much space. Harvey Chris likes for a tray. Did assist. They give him a little space. He makes you pay. Very, very difficult cover. And a corner three answer from Alani Moore. Temple doing a better job of staying in front of the bounce, and then you swing at the end of the clock. Miami notices the mismatch. And they don't need to allow Miami to get more separation going into the half. Monty Scott tees one up. Big time three. He's been pretty good defensively at the basket tonight. Beverly with the left hand sneaks it in. Pierre-Louis, the lefty. Up here, 
too much pressure. You're going to give up dribble penetration from Beverly if you're not careful. Monty Scott with a takeaway. Seven seconds left. Here's Pierre Louis. He shares it in a dunk to beat the buzzer. Heading into league play. Right around the corner, Tommy. Nice feed. Oh. And the flush. Nate Pierre Louis. Pierre Louis again with the feed. Presents well in front of the basket. Evidence right there. Temple finds him. Easy layup. Likes the no look. And Wardenburg goes the other side. You can't let Chris Likes get that deep. He gets that deep, and he is going to be in a position to make proper decisions. And you also cannot go under a high ball screen on Alani Moore. And it's stolen away by Alani Moore the second. There's a feed and a flush, and Temple able to extend the lead with an and one. Forever since he's had, he, he's had a field goal attempt, Temple doing a good job of not giving him any free touches. And so Likes with the mid-range. Chris Likes got away with one right there. He turned his head a little bit when the ball entered the post. He just took the pedals off Rose, and McGussie able to finish. Commits his second. Baseline drive and a beautiful finish by Harlan Beverly. Defense. Wartburg has a lot of international experience, including three on three basketball. Team's home court. I think you're tied all together. Rose slices through and finishes. Wartburg a little flat footed. Quentin Rose gets to his spot, makes it look effortless. I don't like it. Was it like? Was that like the, the, the bitter beer face guy? Yeah. yeah. I think it was right after that campaign. Scott, they call it a two. Man. Pierre Louis kicked it out of bounds. Second guessing now. Pretty good at it. Oh! And, and Temple goes back up. <laughs> Just laid out Pierre Louis. In oh. the backcourt, then Pierre Louis tripped over the three point. Now line. they're dropping like flies. Defondre Perry. Appropriate as we get a little deeper into the night. Great pass. And the finish from Augusti. I think they could have got a better one. The zone worked effectively for defensive coordinator Chris Caputo. Whoa, tough jumper for Vasilovic. They're still way under that, but they have come to life here in the last few possessions. Scott from the baseline. And a denial inside. McGusty forces the turnover. Vasilovic with the layup. And what has turned out to be a very, very competitive game. Likes gets his hand on the entry pass. Vasilovic with the spin. He'll take it himself, and he spins it in. Up to Rose. And that's a guy that we have not called his name in quite some time. Quentin Rose. Big first half, late in the clock. You want to get out of that corner if you're Chris Likes. Good pass. Wardenberg off the window. 66 all, three and a half to play. Stone trying to post. Likes strokes it in. Turn and attack. I think he's really effective in that high post area, but he's been floating on the perimeter. More from three, and they finally knock one down. They've been cold from deep. That, but you cannot give them space because they are certainly capable of pulling up on a dime. McGussie got a half step and, and one. one. He created it, Tom. You're right. Would have pulled the trigger initially. Good closeout D by Temple. Deep three. Oh, back in front. Norman. Late in the clock. Lights. Where you want the ball, don't settle. Now you got to finish oversize. Follow there from Rodney Miller. Seven and nine, looking to double that up. He's a new body, Rodney Miller. Born in Brooklyn, now lives in Queens. And Miller. Stay aggressive. And this guy's going to be aggressive. Great penetration and pitch. Good from Devontae Perry. Make it two for five. Miami with the ball, 13 seconds left. Chris Likes, mismatch with the 6 for Louis. They're Clock at pick, six. Pick and pop. Got him in the air, threw it up, drew the foul. Now with an opportunity to give the Hurricanes the lead with 4.4 on the clock. 
You're not going to put yourself in a position to foul, but even with a make, it's going to give Temple an opportunity or give Temple an opportunity to go with a full head of steam. Moore feeds it up to Rose. Rose will force it at the buzzer off the back rim, and Miami survives a 78-77 win in the Brooklyn in Brooklyn. Wow, late night win for the Canes.